Price is here. coming on out to join us on the show. The price is right. <laughs> the machine. <laughs> My boy. Man, let me tell you Congrats, something. man. Amazing. Congrats. Amazing. Deep price. Well deserved. Congrats, my brother. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, but a great job. Congrats to you. Amazing. So David Price will sit down, who who pitched seemingly every day in the postseason. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, it, it, on a serious note, David, I, I can't even imagine how gratifying this is. All you've been through to come to this point where you were just incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, it, uh, this is special, you know, this is, this is why I came to Boston, to, um, to be a part of something like this, you know, I knew, uh, the history that Boston has, you know, in all their sports, just to, uh, it's a city of champions, and to, um, to finally say I'm a part of that, that's, I can't wrap my head around it right now, but, uh, it's very special. David, I never thought I'd be giving so many Red Sox hugs after winning a championship. <laughs> but anyways, my nightmare continues. Your championship is here. Uh, but, but David, y y you and I, I know how tough this moment is because I struggled for a long time to finally get the championship. You and I communicated at your lowest point. And what I was so impressed about, David, was your attitude determined your altitude. And you said, Rod, you know, I'm down right now, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to punch back. And you did in a big way. How satisfying is that to show the world who David Price is? Um, very. You know, I've 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 been through a lot of um, a lot of downs in October throughout my career. Um, not winning a not winning a game as a starter. You know, until um, until Game Five in Houston. <sighs> it's um, the flip has the script has been flipped, um, and that. That feels good. I mean, I have unbelievable teammates. They they pick me up all year long. They pick me up for for three years since I've been in Boston. I still still don't feel like I've thrown the baseball the way that I should throw the baseball throughout the regular season. But um, to be able to do what we did this October, um, that makes everything kind of go away. D, you know that uh, 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 we talk about body language, we talk about personality, we talk about attitude. That's one thing that I love the most about you. We have a pregame today, and uh, I told my uh, my teammates right here about what happened once I walked into the clubhouse today when it was nobody but you, Alex Cora, and JT Martin JD Martinez that was getting treatment on his uh, ankle, I think it was. And I told him that I went to talk to you, and you had the game face since like 12 this afternoon. <laughs> like, like, the game was a five, and his game face was on, and they asked me, so what you saw on him, I'm like, he's on B's mode. <laughs> B's sure mode. That was my report. So how proud are you on how everything had turned down to be? Um, uh, I couldn't be any more proud, you know, of myself, of my teammates. Um, I mean, this is unreal. You know, this is, uh, we're champions right now. And that's, um, I've never had this feeling. And... I expected this feeling to uh, to feel really good, and you know, that's that's definitely an understatement. You know, this is um, this is amazing. Um, it's it's tough to put it into words. Um, I'm pumped. You know what, man? I've followed your career since you've been here. I've watched you grow, and it's obvious you're healthy again. Bottom line, though, something in the bullpen in Houston clicked for you, and I want to know what it was. It was it being out there screaming, yelling, fans, <laughs> warming up, getting down, warming up. And the next day you go out and throw a gym. Did something click at that moment? Um, it did, you know, and it was uh, before that bullpen, you know, just playing catch in the outfield, you know, that day, knowing that I was going to be in the bullpen. Um, just working on something different with my hands, you know, just um, putting my glove up on top of my belt, you know, having my hands start a little bit higher. That, uh, that enabled me to, um, to be more fluid with my hands, you know, and uh, whenever I can do that, that puts me in a position to be able to execute every pitch that I'm trying to throw. And it helped with fastball command, um, change up. It helped with uh, it helped with everything. And to be able to find that at that point, that was, it paid off. Outstanding. Awesome, awesome to watch. And David, we well, thank you for coming all the way back out here. Before we let you go, though, you know, we, in case you haven't watched, we are very fair journalists here. And as proof, uh, we showed Big Poppy in our green room when we're watching. A very fair, <laughs> down a <the> little. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Uh -huh. You think I was a cider right there? <laughs> oh, yeah. And he also had breaking news. He the news. David Price is going to finish the game. That's what he said they did. Uh, I don't want it to.
That's a real bad. Um, I wanted to get 27 outs tonight, but uh, I'll take 21. And uh, Joe Kelly and Chris Sale came in and did what they did, and that was very special. I enjoy every second. And I want to say, the four of us had you as the MVP. Oh, and then oh, yeah. Pierce hit another home run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Easily could have been co-MVPs. Yes. Exactly. Congrats. I called MVP at our team dinner before game one of the regular season. Um, we all stood up and addressed. Here. <laughs> We're up. up in a dress. There you go. I said, I'm not going to win World Series 